Hello and welcome to my new YouTube channel. For this tutorial I'd like to show you how I changed this photo here, the bride lying on her bed, um, that you can see is not very striking at all, into this photo here using a combination of Lightroom 5 and Photoshop. So the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to crop this photo down so that we can get the desired effect that we want and the best parts of this image. So I'm just going to try and make sure that they're pretty much the same, somewhere around here. Just come back a little bit. Okay. Okay, that's pretty close. So now that we've cropped the photo down, I'll proceed to make the image look a little better by adjusting some of these Lightroom settings. Um, so first off, um, what I want to do is I've got about 85. I want to knock the contrast down. Highlights, we're going to drop the highlights, uh, not that much. Just around there will be fine. And we'll bring out some of the shadows. That's pretty good. A uh, trick for the whites is to hold down the Alt button uh, on the Mac, that is. Um, and what we'll do is we'll just raise the whites up only slightly until you start seeing some of the pixels and we'll do the same with the blacks as well we'll drop the slider down until you start seeing some pixels and then we'll let it go um, then we've got the clarity uh, just to give a little bit of punch to the picture not too much just a little bit and then we'll bring that vibrance up nicely there we go so and then what I like to do with some of these pictures is I actually drop the saturation down. So around there, that should be that should be fine. So straight away, um, you can see that this photo is looking much better already. See on Lightroom, you can do a preview of your before image, which is this one, and your after image. Uh, your after image shows all the adjustments that you've made on Lightroom so far to this image and this image here is how you imported it. Um, it's also Y button to close it, back to how it was, and to proceed with the editing, the next thing that I like to do is one thing that is very important in any portrait photography is to make sure that the eyes are sharp. Um, so what we do is we just bring up the sharpening just, just a tad. And another thing I like to do is I think or feel that the image isn't perfectly sharp, it's a tiny bit noisy. So what I like to do to try and smooth out the skin to start off with is just to bring the noise up a little bit. And as you can see, straight away, it really smooths the skin out. And there we are. Looking again at the before and after image, it's looking good. Now looking at this image, you can see that it's near enough the same as the previous one. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to export this into Photoshop. So we'll give it a few seconds for that to load up. Now we've loaded this image up into Photoshop, uh, the first thing I'm going to do is uh, to duplicate the layer um, on top of that one. Um, that's the one that I'm going to work upon. So the first adjustment I'm going to make in Photoshop is just a little extra on from, from Lightroom and I'm going to bring up the, um, the brightness a bit more. Um, there we are, that's how we want that one. For the next adjustment we'll use the, um, the curves layer. Uh, it's only a little touch I need to do here, just darken the hair and slightly increase the highlights there. 
over to to this side we're going to use the um, spot healing tool which is this one here and we're just going to tidy up a few of the little a few of the blemishes that she's got around her body and smoothing these out because no one wants to look at these Okay, and the next thing that we're going to do is I'll just find a tart is the mixer tool brush. Now I think I believe that sounds I like to use. Now zoom in. Now as we can see on the forehead here, it's where she's looking up, she's frowning quite a bit. So we're gonna try and blend these out. So we'll just go along these for a little while. Just going along the lines. Okay. So much better. And also, it's good at smoothing the skin out around the eyes. Smooth that out. Around the chin. Around the lips. Up around the cheek. Around that lower eye. There we go. Yeah. Um, probably do a little touch up around the neck. Okay. I'm happy with that. Adjustment that we're going to do is the um, sharpening tool. I like to give the eye area a, um, a little bit of a boost in sharpness just so it stands out a little bit more. Too much. There we go. Now the last adjustment that I want to make in Photoshop is with the hue, which is there, and I'm just going to drag it over very slightly, just to make the skin glow a little bit. Got that saturation a little bit more. There we go. That's perfect. Okay, now the editing is finished in Photoshop. I'm going to quickly save this back into Room, and it should just appear on there now. And there it is. It's back into Lightroom from Photoshop.